have always wanted to share the story about the time that I met Allen Iverson. So I'm at a house party and it's a pretty good mix of like celebrities and, you know, just regular folk. It's very, very cool vibes. Nothing about it gave off any kind of impression that the celebrities were separating themselves and people were mingling and so forth. And it was, it was, it was a really chill house party. So um, I'm sitting on the couch with my homegirls and uh, I'm taking like, I've always documented aspects of my life. I'm just really good at like taking pictures of the scene of everything and just going back in the archives like, wow, that was a great year, or a great moment, right? So like I said, there, there was a lot of different people there. You know, there were some, you know, some celebrities, like I said, people of note, people that would be like, oh, wow, so-and-so's in this party. But of course, you know, if, if you know me, you know how I feel about basketball. So seeing Allen Iverson was more so like, oh, well, shit, there go AI. You know, hey, buddy. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, it was, it was a pretty cool, cool moment. Um, so when it hits off to a table, and I want to say they were like either playing spades or dominoes. It was like one of those type of things. Like he's sitting at the table with some other dudes around him, and they're just like playing whatever game it was. Um, I, I think I want it might have been spades. It could have been poker. I don't even know. Could have been anything. Um, so... Like I said, I was taking pictures of my friends and I'm just, you know, we're just immersed in our own world. We're not even really speaking, you know, especially when you're like at that age where like it's you and your homegirls and you just like, you don't see anybody else in the room. See so y'all laughing and, you know, going on. And even if somebody wanted to make an entry to sort of introduce themselves to you, they'd find it really awkward because it's like, okay, like, you know, we were talking about things. I'm talking about big, the girls are dancing by themselves energy. Like that's what we was on. We was just really just in our own world, own world. So at some point, I mean, I didn't even really notice. Like I said, if I, if I see somebody, it's like, oh, that's so-and-so. That's pretty cool. But I don't disturb people's peace. Um, I don't go on like that. Um, I just don't do that. It's not, you know, that's, you know, people need to have their space respected, right? So um, I wasn't really in, I, I, I just noticed him. Like I said, I didn't even like, I wasn't paying attention to him, right? To even know like that, you know, he could have been looking over my way at all. So at some point, Allen Iverson gets up from the game he's playing and leaps from the back of the couch and sits next to me and just goes, hey. And I'm like, hey, uh, Allen? He's like, what's your name? I'm like, Coco. He's like, oh, cool. He's like, so can I see your camera? I said, I don't really care. Go ahead. Whatever. Now, there are hundreds, I mean, hundreds of pictures in this camera. And they're pretty much documenting my life for quite some time. Like, I, I would say... It, I mean, I don't know, like, who's to say? Maybe it was at least six months worth of pictures or something like that. But it's basically showing you different time, like the timeline of my life, right? Like a, a photo diary of sorts. So at this point, it, do, it doesn't, it does, really doesn't click right away. But I think what he was trying to do was probably assess, like, what kind of character that I had. Like, maybe that I was sneaking pictures of other people in the party or something like that. That's what I, that's the impression that I got. Like, I was like, okay, I kind of get what he's doing, but he's so smooth with it that, like, you couldn't really be offended, you know what I'm saying? And like, it would have even it'd been weird if I didn't hand him the camera because like, what you got to hide? And I'll tell you guys what, like, that's never anything. Like, you could look at the archives of everything that I own. I don't have any. All you're going to find in my in my uh, crazy pictures you're going to see in any of my photo albums is just pictures of me doing my hair and it looking crazy. That's all you're ever going to see. I, I don't have no dirty pictures, nothing like that, nothing to be ashamed of, you know, whatever. Do you know, Alan Iverson went through every single picture and calmly asked me about each moment of my life in that time. Oh, so where were you at? What did you eat? Was the food good? Oh, that's pretty cool. Next picture, next slide, basically. And he's like, oh, okay, so who's that? Is that person a very good friend to you? I mean, went through every single picture, like abandoned the game to go through. I mean, this was important, not well, important, but this was interesting to him, which was just very interesting to me. And um, so, so nice about it. And I guess when we get to the final picture, and he's just like, mm, okay, you know, like, you know, bye. I know. See you guys later, whatever. And that was just it. It was just like the most random interaction ever. And I got to tell you, this is where it gets funny for me, though. The only person that he asked me, like, well, ho hold on. Who is that? You got more pictures of her? Was one of my friends who's a stripper. Just funny. That's my Alan Iverson story. Um, it's not that eventful, but it's kind of cool, you know, because it's like, wow. You know, for one moment in my life. Somebody who just absolutely didn't have to even give any sort of time to the idea of what this kid was up to just sat down with me and just like, you know, just wanted to know more about me, you know, and it was it was nothing creepy at all. Nothing creepy. Um, he was just very, very curious about 
the world as I saw it. And that's exactly how I felt in that moment. moment. And so I never have any smoke for AI. Never did, but I definitely never, never will.